High CPU utilization is an issue when you're using a FortiGate firewall or any other firewall. Now, you can create an automation stitch that will alert you whenever your CPU is above the threshold that you have created. So, let's look and see how we configure that. Creating an automation stitch for that particular purpose, that is high CPU, can only be done using the command line. And it is a bit long since we're actually debugging. We're using debug information to get all the information from our FortiGate and then send it through our email. But the very first thing that you will need to do is to set the threshold, the CPU threshold, uh, that whenever it reaches that threshold, it will alert you. So to do so, we will use the global system uh, configuration, config system global. And there, set CPU threshold, set CPU. Let's just move over. And here it is, CPU use threshold. Now, uh, the integer is actually um, the percentage. So let's use 85% um, uh, of our total CPU utilization. And let's just end it. Now let's configure our actions, the scripts that will actually run as part of our automation stitch. So we will start with the config system automation action. Now let's name our action since we're actually dealing with uh, debug information. So let's name it debug and let's set the type of action to CLI scripts. All right, now let's just enable it. And let's set the script. All right, so I will write the different scripts. I will not explain each script. You can actually play around with each script on its own on your command line. But these are sets of scripts that are actually running to debug the system and get the information from the different processes and sessions that are running. All right. All right, so the next step is to create the trigger, the trigger to the automation stitch. So let's config system automation trigger. Let's do that. And let's name our trigger CPU underscore high underscore off. All right, and let's set the event type to high CPU. Great. All right, the last step 
is to create the automation stitch itself. We have just created the trigger. We will use the trigger in the automation stitch. So let's configure system auto stitch. Let's use high CPU and let's set the trigger. And the action to our debug uh, script that we have created. That's just high CPU debug. All right. Now if we'll actually close uh, our command line and refresh the page, we will see that we have I have already created this one, but we have a high CPU CLI script, which we can actually use. So double click on it. That's the trigger itself that we have created. Those are the scripts that we have actually uh, written down. And we can also add up an action, which is an email action to be sent to our email address.